New training environment. <laughs> yes, yes. Moved to Knoxville end of October. Uh -huh. So only been there for about a month. So just getting back into training, I took yeah. six months off. Uh -huh. So this is kind of just dipping my toes back into racing. So I'm excited. And so why Knoxville for the move? Um, they have a really nice pro group. There's about eight to ten girls that are there. And when I was at Michigan, I was the only one. And that was something that I really struggled with uh, for two and a half almost three years now this will be my fourth year as a pro mm -hmm. um, but I really love the environment the coaching staff everything is new I mean new mm -hmm. environment you get excited about it but every practice is different and I just needed a little bit of a change of pace going into 2024. Both uh, Erica and Kira were both pretty excited to see the growth of the group and yeah. it sounds like they were excited about your arrival too. Yeah. Um, what have you found different besides the group culture just about you know new training environment um done anything new in the water that you haven't done before everything i feel like almost i mean every practice is different i get feedback on my stroke where my armpit is in the water just i'm learn. i'm hearing new terms and tech like technical details that i've never heard before and it makes me think in a different way like yes michigan was great and they had they had the cameras and yardage and great coaches and everything but it was just i was so used to hearing the same thing that some things weren't clicking in my head and then when i got here i was like oh yeah, okay, like, you know, it's just like something new being thrown at you that makes you think in a different way. Yeah, um, yeah definitely new sets. Um, some of the morning practices are a little longer than I'd like them to be at Michigan, uh, like compared, but yeah, I mean, it's only been almost a month or a little over a month, so still get, like trying to figure it all out, but. As like an established pro, you have this, level of professionalism and responsibility to mm -hmm. yourself right to own what you need and obviously yes. you come into a new environment like this because you are looking for some changes right. um, how much but obviously when you come into a new environment that's also difficult because you want to embrace the new coaching and right. just accept it and I assume you're probably still in that phase but yes. Do you feel like you're looking for that sort of rapport where you can vouch for what you need or are you the kind of athlete that is best when you just buy into the program? So it's funny, a little bit of both. Um, I've done, I did really well at Michigan with them being like, this is what you need. And I bought, I was all in, trusted the process. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like you said, almost like an established pro. Um, the first few weeks I was like, okay, you know, this is good. I'm just getting back into things. I know it's gonna take a while. Um, and then I actually met with my coach Rich last week and I was like, hey, I think I'm doing a little bit too much. And he was like, okay, that's great to know. So it's a little bit of a learning curve still and embracing it, but being like advocating for myself and saying, hey, like I know what I need. I don't want to get too burnt out right away. Um, so yeah, definitely a little bit of both. So you've got some things going on outside of the pool too. I saw you were working with Erica. Yeah, Erica Viney, yeah. Viney Wellness Building. Yeah, I do, I run her Facebook group and do social media for her. Um, the part of the Wellness Warriors group um, where we test everyone's DNA. Um, I tested my DNA back in tw 2018. So right after my college years, um, when it was like first coming out and we've grown a ton. So I really enjoy that. It's nice to also have something outside of the pool. So I'm not going back home and like thinking about my practices yeah. and everything. So it's kind of just like a, a separate thing, but it's fine. Was there anything new that you learned about yourself when you did yours? Uh, I have a medium recovery and it's funny because you know, when you- What does that mean? So it's slow, medium, and fast recovery rate based on your genetics. Um, just the medium recovery rate, you don't recover as fast. So you like, you know, get a flush a little more, do a little extra stretching, foam rolling, warm attacking, you know, more, more warm down laps than I would like to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was something new. And then, I mean, I'm always feel, I always feel like I'm learning something new about myself every day with that, which is kind of cool. But the report stays for the rest of your life. So I can do it after I'm done swimming, you know, back to DNA and performance. So it's kind of cool. So in this new environment and learning new things about yourself, what do you expect from this meet this weekend? Honestly, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really hard for me to say because I expect a lot, but I think coming off of 
international team trials in April and then missing the Olympic team in 2021, taking six months off, I'm kind of just embracing, yeah, like letting everything go. I love the sport again and that's something that I really needed to come back to myself. So I'm expecting to just have fun, get my toes back into racing and see what I can do. You know, really, really no expectations. So maybe January and next I'll have a few more, but. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, thanks Gabby. Yeah.